So a couple months ago, I got a Surface Pro 3. I was really happy with it, and so I did a video review about it, and at the time, I had only had it for a few weeks. Now that I've been using it for like four or five months, I figured it's time to do a follow-up video to let you know what I think. The best way to go about this is probably just to answer some of the uh, comments that are on the video that I posted on YouTube. There's a lot of them. There's over 150,000 views of this video, and there's hundreds of comments. I'm going to address some of the best ones. So the first question I'm going to answer today is from John Mathias. He says, great review. Are you still happy with it five months on? The short answer is yes. I am very happy with it a couple months on. Um, yeah. I'm going to go with yes. Overall, it's completely replaced my Wacom Cintiq. I've uh, disconnected it from my computer. I haven't used it in months. A lot of the little eccentricities about the tablet that I didn't like early on, I've just kind of gotten used to because I've used it so much. Viltz asks, have you noticed any problems while drawing slowly and diagonally? Actually, every other way besides horizontally or vertically. When I draw slowly, I just cannot get a straight line. It jumps all over the place and makes wavy, jumpy lines. Okay, there's this thing where you're using the Entrig pen and the lines are super duper jittery and it sucks. In fact, this is the biggest drawback of the Surface. If you draw slowly, don't get the Surface Pro. Here's an example of the jittery pens at work. When I'm drawing really slowly, you can see that it's just very hard to draw a straight line. When I draw quickly, this doesn't seem to be a problem. It really sucks. I thought this was going to be something that Microsoft could fix with a uh, software update. Unfortunately, I think this is a major problem with the pen, the Entrig pen, and will probably keep a lot of artists away. So I would say if you uh, draw slowly a lot, don't touch this thing. Don't come near the Surface Pro. Air Scholar says, Adobe and Microsoft will address the problem. LOL. He's quoting a line from the last video when I talked about how a lot of the problems I had with the Surface were software issues, and software can be updated over time, and I thought Adobe and Microsoft would. First of all, let's start with Adobe. Adobe has improved the touch interfaces. Their latest releases of the uh, Creative Cloud software are massive improvements, especially Illustrator. Illustrator does a lot of cool stuff now. There is a touch mode in Illustrator. The biggest changes in the touch mode is that they have added larger anchor points, so it's much, much, much easier to actually hit those things. They've added like a delete button and, a, and an undo button and those sort of things directly to the interface. The bad part about some of these Illustrator updates is that you have to actually go into touch mode to actually get this stuff, which means if you're in touch mode, you can't access layers, you can't access brushes, and they've created a bunch of new tools that I don't really understand why they're making. I guess, you know, new features sell product. Um, but Illustrator ends up feeling a lot like, kind of like Windows 8, where you're constantly floating between the old mode and the way you're used to doing things, where you do most of your work in this new mode that's kind of cool for what it does, but it's really limited. On the Microsoft end, Microsoft has actually added a couple tools. There's this like Surface Pen Pressure Doodad app that you can download that works pretty well. I haven't gotten it to work because I've always had an issue syncing my Surface Pen to the, to the Surface itself. Technically, the Bluetooth syncs the pen, so the pen works fine, but it says that it's not syncing up properly, and because it says it doesn't sync, I can't actually use the little doodad Microsoft came up with to regulate pressure sensitivity. Xlifix asks, do you have lipstick on? No. Adam Butterick says, I use an iPad Mini 2, the Retina one, the Jot Touch and the Pixel Point, and then Jot Tote case for my primary app, Procreate. I'm easily $5, and every bit as good as Photoshop for drawing, and I take it everywhere with me. I draw all the time now. Total price, $445. Good for you. I personally never really liked drawing on the iPad. Um, I've had an iPad for years. I've gone through a dozen stylists. I just... I don't know. It doesn't have the accuracy that I'm looking for, which is one of the problems I had with Illustrator before they updated Illustrator. So if you can do it and you like it, fantastic. I love that I have hardcore Photoshop and real illustrator at my fingertips that I can use. So for me, Surface is a good tool. Vlad Stanziuk says, a replacement for the Wacom Cintiq? Only Wacom can do that. This is for guys who like to waste time drawing, not for pros. Thanks, Vlad. I appreciate your opinion. Georgie asks, which stylus are you using? Okay, I got this question a lot in the comments and I'm using this stylus. This is the stylus it came with. Uh, unlike an iPad where you can use any stylus and there's a bunch of stylus that you can go out and buy, um, this doesn't work that way. The stylus that comes with it is the stylus you have to use. It's an Entrig stylus. It's not a Wacom stylus. Um, all the pressure sensitivity and all the... It has to sync so that it's like a little Bluetooth thing. So you need to use this stylus. Not like the iPad, but that's okay. 
because you have the accuracy because of the technology they put in the stylus. Emil Klingberg asks, do you know a way to get on-screen alt, shift, and control buttons besides the on-screen keyboard? Yes, it's called Toolbar Creator and it's really awesome and everybody who has a Surface needs to go out and get it right now. You can build your own toolbars and so you can put whatever you want in there. You could add any kind of button presses you want. You can combine button presses. It's fantastic. Go get it. Get the link right here by my face. Yeah. Gage and P asks, why didn't you just download Auto Hotkey for free? All right, here's the thing. A million people have asked random questions. They're all different, but they're kind of like this, which is, why didn't you download this other thing that is easier? Here's the thing. I'm not a Windows user. I use Google. I found what I could in the couple days that I've used it. There's probably better stuff out there. But when there's 800 different ways to remap the keys on your keyboard, you find the one that works that's free and you go for it. Jeff Higgins says, FYI, I believe it's pronounced Wacom, not Wacom. Really? Tom Wiltshire asks, which model of the Pro 3 did you buy? Okay, so this is an i5 processor in this thing, and I have the one with 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, Photoshop takes up a lot of RAM, so I decided that I wanted the one with a lot of RAM. It also has a 256 gig hard drive, which is kind of nice. I don't really need that much space, or else I didn't think I did, but it's kind of nice to have now that I have it. Majid El Harabi says, Take it from me! These shiny drawing tablets will never beat the, or replace the Wacom drawing tablets. It's not made for that. Period. And the most annoying thing is you will get... Let me stop you there, Majid. You need to calm down, dude. Textrosity says, So based on what you say, when drawing on a tablet, if your hands end up resting on the screen, it won't get in the way and mess things up. That is correct. In Photoshop, it won't, anyway. It only responds to the pen pressure sensitivity. Illustrator, in their new touch mode, they want to make it accessible for fingers, though. I don't know why, because everybody uses a stylus with what's out there now. I wish you could turn it off, because all my Illustrator drawings end up with little dots all over them. Lizzie Marie says, Cies ne importe quoi. Hold on a sec, I better hit the translate button. It's anything the title of the video, plus it's antique is no longer for sale. It was replaced by the 13 HD, therefore incomparable. If we could do it with the Pro Area 3, the use is not the same. I certainly do not go lugging it around the streets with my Cintiq hybrid, if I had one. While the Pro Surface is already better dimensionally level carry anywhere, in short, this video is useless. I will never hit the translate button again. Marvin the Melon says, he makes those comics. I've seen them on iFunny. iFunny stealing my comics? This seems like a pretty good place to stop. If you have any further questions or are just bitter about some of the choices you've made in your life, that's what the comment box down below is for. So go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what you think.